What if you can create YouTube Shorts without showing your face and without recording anything with a camera, but just by using Google Translate in order to get millions of views and actually make money off of those YouTube Shorts? Once again, without actually showing your face and without recording anything. Well, I'm gonna show you exactly how I actually make these YouTube Shorts, which as you can see, sometimes get over 12 million views. Like this one single YouTube Short has gained this channel over 17,000 subscribers and the Short itself has gained over 12 million views. And if you stick with me all the way until the end of the video, I'm also gonna show you how to actually Actually monetize these YouTube Shorts because if you just rely on ad revenue or the YouTube Shorts fund, you know that you're not gonna make that much money. So let us begin with a full breakdown. Before you actually go to Google Translate, you can search for highest GDP countries in Europe and you can see which ones actually make the most and actually have the most. And you can see that at the top of the list, we have Germany, we have UK, we have France, Italy, Russia, Spain, Netherlands, and so on and so forth. Now I'm gonna be using Germany as an example. So what I can do is I can now go over to Google Translate and you can do the same thing and you can translate translate German language into English language. So whatever you type in in German is going to translate into English and vice versa. If you reverse it, as you can see, if I type in, for example, hello in English, it's going to translate into hello in German. If I type in something else, if I type in, for example, good morning, it's going to translate into guten Morgen in German. Now, once you know that Google Translate works pretty well for that language, you can simply go over to Canva and sign up. Just create an account on Canva because that's where we're going to be creating those YouTube shorts from scratch. So you don't want to film anything with a camera, you don't want to show your face in front of the camera whatsoever, you just want to use Canva. So just create an account for free and we're going to get back to it. Now, in order to actually make money off of YouTube Shorts, you need to be promoting something because otherwise uh, you're not going to make any money from ad revenue or the YouTube Shorts fund, at least as of right now, maybe from February 1st, 2023, once they in once they intro actually introduce the partner program for YouTube Shorts. But as of right now, you can't really monetize them unless you're promoting something. So that's why we're going to be using this CPA network called CPA Grip. And because it, it is CPA, CPA stands for cost per action, you're not actually selling anything. You don't have to create a product or a service or whatsoever. All you gotta do is drive traffic to these offers and when someone submits their email address, you're gonna be paid for it. So you just wanna create an account on CPA Grip and then you simply wanna log in to grab some offer to promote. Now, if I log into my account, you can first things first, see these different people making money on the platform, like this person made $12,000 off of CPA Grip as so far. And you can see people just generally making thousands of dollars. Now, you wanna go to the My Offers section on the left side in order to find different offers to promote. Now you can change the country over here so you can customize the country. And in this case, because I used Google Translate to translate offers and translate text in German, I'm going to type in Germany on the left side. And that's going to give me offers that are available only in Germany. Because if you focus on like US type of offers and English speaking audiences, the competition is extremely high. Anyone, everyone is promoting that. But with these different countries, you can actually get way better results and offers in Germany actually pay pretty much the same as they do in the US market, in the English market. But you see, this offer pays $2.82 when someone submits their email address, as you can see, but we have no idea what this offer is about. So how can we promote it? So what you can do is you can just copy this text, whatever this means and however you pronounce it, and then you can copy that and you can go back to Google Translate and you can just translate that into English. So you can just paste that text here and as you can see, get your fuel voucher now. So we know that this offer is about a giveaway. They give away this voucher that is like 500 euros, which I can see on the preview. And it's a free voucher that people can sign up for. When they sign up, we get $2.82. They just need to fill out some information about themselves and we're going to earn $2.82 if that person is coming from Germany. So this is a great offer. Now I can copy this link and I can promote it in my YouTube Shorts. Now, obviously, I will need to promote, I will need to create YouTube Shorts in German in order to actually promote these type of offer. So what I can now do is you can go back to Canva, go to canva.com, click on custom size and select 1080 by 1920 or just type in 1080 by 1920 and that's going to open up a blank document, a vertical template where you can start working on your on your YouTube short. Now in this case, I want to create a YouTube short in German. So first of all, I'm going to think about it in English. I'm going to think about what I actually want to make. I'm going to plan out this YouTube short and then everything that I wanted to put in, I'm just going to translate that into German. So for example, I'm going to make a YouTube short that shows up like five different amazing facts about dogs. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to search on Google for five interesting facts about dogs. I'm going to open up one of these websites that show different facts and then I'm going to turn this article into a YouTube short, but I'm just going to translate it into German so that we can attract a German audience because we need signups from Germany in order for this to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy all of these and then turn them into a YouTube short. So I'm going to start my YouTube short over here. We have the first scene and on the left side, I'm just going to add the first image or the first video. This is going to be stock footage. So I'm going to type in a dog or dogs and then I can use one of these logos uh, as my video. So I'm going to drag this to make sure that it fits the scene properly. And I'm just going to cut this video 
with you one and a half seconds or two seconds long. I don't want to make it too long and boring because then people are not going to watch the short until the end. You just want to make them fast paced. And then I'm going to add an intro text, which is going to say five amazing facts about dogs. And then I'm also going to add some effects to make it look a little bit more interesting. And I'm also going to make sure that this fits properly. And I'm also going to add an animation. So you can just click here to add an animation. I'm going to add this one over here. And this is how it's going to look like five amazing facts about dogs. And this is going to be the first scene. And I'm going to create a next scene over here. So I'm going to go through the videos section again. I'm going to find some dog image or dog video. I'm going to drag this to make it fit properly. And by changing scenes all the time, you're making the video a little bit more interesting to watch. And the engagement is obviously going to be higher. People are going to watch longer. And if they watch longer, YouTube is going to promote their videos more and you're going to get more views. So this is going to be the first fact that I'm going to share. And it's going to be this one over here. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go back. I'm going to click on add text and I'm going to add that number one fact. It's going to look something like this. I'm going to change the font to the left side. I'm going to add an effect like this one. I'm going to make the text a little bit smaller. So something like this. And I'm also going to add an animation to this one as well. So their sense of smell is at least 40 times better than ours. This is going to be the first scene. I'm going to go to the next one, the third and the fourth and so on. Now what you can also do is you can add a call to action to all of these different scenes, which is going to be a call to action for the offer that you are promoting. Now remember that I am writing this in English as of right now, but once I'm done, I'm just going to translate every single one of these scenes in the German. And to do that, you just need to copy that. So you just copy this, you go back to Google Translate, you paste that here, and you will see exactly what this is about. So as you can see, this is how you say it in German. So you just copy that, you're going to copy it, you're going to go back, and then you're just going to paste it here. So this is going to be the first scene. And this is probably going to be the title of our YouTube short as well. So you can just copy it as a YouTube short title. Now you're going to go to your next scene, and then you're just going to copy this, and then you're going to translate this in German as well. So I'm just going to paste that uh, here. This is how it's going to look like. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to, pa going to paste it here. So this is going to be our first scene over here. And I'm just going to, going to continue to do this until I have a full YouTube short in German, which should be around 10, 12 or 13 seconds long. Now, once I complete this YouTube short, and remember, you have a call to action and to add a call to action, all you got to do is pretty much add the same type of text so down below. You will just create a call to action that tells people that they can click the link in the description to grab this voucher. So I'm going to translate this once again. So if I paste it into this box, we can see that it says get your fuel voucher now. And I'm just going to say get your fuel voucher now link in the description link in the description below. And it's going to translate into something like this. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go back and insert that here so that people can see this while watching this YouTube short and they can click the link from the description box and they can potentially sign up for that offer. And it doesn't matter what your YouTube shorts are about as long as they are interesting. There's people that want to sign up to those giveaways. Like everyone wants to win free vouchers and free money that the CPA grip has to offer. So there's a lot of people that are going to watch this be like, oh, this is a cool video. But while they're watching that, they're going to click the link in the description, sign up by entering their email address because it takes them like less than two minutes to sign up. And when they do, you're going to earn a commission by referring them to that offer. So you simply need to just download this German YouTube short onto your computer, just download it as an MP4 video and then upload it to your YouTube channel, title the video in German as well. So you're going to translate the title. So you're going to think about what the title of this video is going to be. And then you're just going to use Google Translate to translate that and then publish that onto your YouTube channel with a German call to action in this case for people to sign up through your referral link. And that's how you can pretty much use Google Translate with YouTube Shorts in order to grow a YouTube channel, go viral, get a lot of views and also monetize that with different referral links. I really hope you got some value out of this video. I really hope you've learned something new. And if you did, make sure to drop a like down below and I will see you next time.